may very well be looking for uh, a way to play for a win here. Yeah, uh, quite certainly uh, a possibility, especially if you can get this pawn motoring. I like your knight b2. It feels like a halfway house between kind of uh, straddles kind of safety first if you can get rid of this white a pawn. I don't think you will ever lose the game. Uh, but it also has uh, kind of sneaky intentions of uh, shepherding this pawn forward. Knight c5, yeah, it feels like a step in the wrong direction, although I was going to point out knight c5, rook a8. You can still play d3 there because rook takes a5. There would have been d2 and game goes on but okay he's playing knight f4 going for this pawn instead and okay the d pawn running i it just depends whether uh, i don't know here the answer but uh rook a8 whether that's a possibility or whether that's just too much risk for white uh in this position well after Maybe, rook a8 d3 is possible and the white cannot take the pawn because king e4 and nobody can stop the pawn right uh-huh Black knight covers the e2 square, so white's king cannot actually journey over to block this pawn. Knight f4, I like it. Very good move from Nakamura. Three minutes against two. How is Farusha going to react? Because white's not entirely safe either right now, um, especially if this pawn drops. Absolutely not. It's a very double-edged position. Yeah. If it wasn't for these a pawns, uh, then the Kind of uh, short range black knight might actually be the favorite, especially if this pawn were to drop off. But um, okay, can white use those the presence of those pawns to his advantage? King f1, maybe? To <laughs> oh my try gosh. and be sneaky. Try nice move. Okay. Yep, prophylaxis. Nice move, but not an easy move to find. You find it by uh, using elimination. Mm -hmm. Maybe okay. not the only one, but safe but one. You can lose this. You can lose control of this game so easily if you're if you're white. That deep on is really menacing. Originally, I thought white was in the driver's seat. Now, yeah, I'm a little bit biased, but knowing Hikaru's ability to just like create chances out of nowhere. Now I feel like it's Ferruja who has to balance on the tight rope. And King F1 has been found. D3 immediately. Hikaru putting pressure on Ferruja's clock. Oh my gosh. King E1. Oh. Um, King E1 looks very likely just to stop the deep one. And. At and the same time, Might, we'll go probably knight, knight h3, rook a8, knight f4, or g4. There are too many pawns for Yeah. Good luck calculating this uh, to anyone with one, two minutes on their clock. Yeah, I agree, Judith. It looks like too many pawns. It looks like black should be quick enough. Unreal. Are yeah. we going to see another turnaround in this game? And by the way, Kukesh still probably winning against Sabasa, but there's Nothing crazy has happened on that board. I'm sort of keeping an eye on it. Let's stay here. Let's stay here because, oh my gosh, 90 seconds for Ali Reza. Um, we've been commentating for six hours or so. I, I mean, I can't calculate a single variation. I, I can't imagine how Ferruja must feel after such a complicated game. Oh. Oh. Anything could happen. This is still three results on the table. Um. Don't even know where to start calculating. King e1 was one we mentioned. Um, rook a8 still possible here, although the black king will start walking in. Well, I no, white right has that. to go rook d8 or king e1. Mm -hmm. but... No, rook a8, d2 does not work, I'm sorry. Yeah, rook a8, king e4. King e1, if I take on h3, you go rook a8. Your pawn is actually really slow, and he's gone king f2. Trying to get wow. to e3. He thinks that's the ideal square. Hikaru continuing to play instantly. He takes on h3. And I assume he's going to come back to f4. Is that his idea? And start pushing that h pawn? And what terrifying. about knight, knight f4, rook a8? No, he goes g4. Wow. Can't take the pawn on d3. Because g3, rook g8, g2. And knight f4 oh, with a fork. Oh. How tricky this knight is. And it's not done yet. Ferruja, he has to move his rook, I assume. Rook g8, maybe? But even that's a draw, I think. Oh. Mm. 
Ah, uh, no, 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 no. Okay. Sorry. No, I thought the A5 pawn is gone already. <laughs> I think Ferruja might lose this. He's got a minute. He has to find an indefinite number of accurate moves. So scary. Under a minute. When in doubt, give a check. Give a check. check. Gain 30 seconds. <laughs> Probably the best move. Force that king off of its ideal square and then decide based on where the king goes where, whether you take the pawn or not. Yeah, Rook F8 is a good move. Again. But will he keep his nerves under control 30 seconds again? This is what Hikaru does so well in his blitz career. And now he's doing it in the candidates. Wow. 20 something seconds. He looks so stressed. Understandably, here, Ferruja. Things are turning. Another look at the clock. Oh, it's so easy to blunder. That's the problem. These tricky knights, we've said it throughout the day. That's one of, been, one of the themes of the round. All these night forks all Ten over seconds. the place. He doesn't know what to do. He's got to give a check. Maybe Rook A8. Five seconds on the clock. Got to make a move. Three seconds, two. Okay, that. And he's made it. He's taken on D3. He's losing. The... He's blundered. Oh my God. That's it. G3 and the game is over. Hikaru will win. No way. Wow. No way. You see it on the camera immediately. He reacts, Ferruja. He just forgot he's walking into a night fork. It's unstoppable. White will lose his rook for the G-pawn. 20 seconds and he can just resign. It's gone in one move. Nothing to do now. Even Nakamura wow. looks... Shocked, Naka, by the uh, developments there. A check. King E6, just moves. get out of there. Go as far away from that pawn as possible. The knight will handle it. What a drama. Yeah. Candidates. Wow. It just always brings out these unexpected uh, moves, results. Always dramatic. No matter when. Oof. Heartbreak for Ferruja. You got to feel for him. It was equal the whole game, pretty much. Just one slip. Much like Nepo yesterday, Hikaru. He doesn't want to spoil this. He knows this is a golden opportunity. What this will do, not just to his tournament standing back to fifty percent, but to his confidence, kind of a Magnus Carlsen esque performance and Rook G eight. Ali Reza with just a second on the clock, forgetting about this tactic, G2. And look at that multi-purpose knight on H3. It's controlling the two most important squares in the position. F4, that's the forking square. And G1, that's the promotion square. And Ikaro has one pawn left on the king side. Resignation, Ali Reza Ferruja. His heartbreak continues. There's just something about the candidates. Hikaru Nakamura, what a victory. A game with just endless swings and endless drama to the very last second, literally.